Hey guys, Buffer Gaming back, bringing another video, and today we're going to cover the Trader Blueprint for one of our weapon conversions here, and this Trader Blueprint is going to give us a SCAR H or an M or MK Mark 17 with a Midwest Industries M-Lock handguard, so we're going to go over the differences with this particular Trader Blueprint that you get in the Battle Pass, show you how to build it up, probably the best way you can to make it viable for an in-game option, and then we're going to go ahead and check out the recoil and see how it handles in-game against bots, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So here you see my final design. So this is our Mark 17 with our Midwest Industries M-Lock handguard on this particular blueprint. And there's some pretty decent differences with this blueprint. So first off, how do you get the blueprint is we're going to go to our battle stream quick. So let me get out of here. We'll go to our battle pass. And I believe it is unlocked at 45. So here we have the Trader blueprints. This is a rare blueprint, assault rifle, golf. So this is our Mark 17 with our Midwest Industries M-Lock handguard. So if I look at this, this is the base blueprint. It comes with a stipple pistol grip, frangible wounding, and the 20-inch barrel. So just some key notes here is this blueprint is only applicable with the M-Lock handguard with the 20-inch barrel. If you switch barrels, it's going to go back to the standard upper that we see with the Mark 17 in-game. And then obviously your buttstock will stay the same unless you change it out for something different. So you need the 20 inch barrel length to have that M-Lock handguard and keep this particular upper with the color system as well. So let's go back to our private match. Look at what we did with this weapon. So let me get into it here and we'll go to our creative class. So we have our Mark 17 with our Midwest Industries M-Lock handguard. So what we put on this is we put the... 20 inch barrel is what it comes with. So let me strip this down and I'll show you the differences. So this is if I strip everything down, you see you still have the base blueprint lower and the buttstock, but the upper and the barrel now change to the regular Mark 17 barrel. So what we're gonna do for this is go to the standard barrel that the blueprint comes with is that 20 inch forge tack barrel length. So it's gonna give us the damage at range, bullet velocity and recoil of control with the cons being ADS speed and movement speed. So that you can see here, that gives us that M-Lock handguard from the West Industries that we're talking about there versus any of the other barrels, you're going to get a completely back to the revert to the regular scar barrel. So we'll go that 20 inch barrel laser. I'm going to customize this with a tack laser. The ADS speed for the scar in general is just extremely slow and it gets you killed a lot in gunfights. So we need to make it as fast as possible. So high powered five milliwatt laser. This is going to help with our ADS speed and our aiming stability and as, as well as our aim walking steadiness. So the con is that when you're ADSing, the laser is visible to enemies. So if you're just careful about not ADSing 24 seven, you should be all right with this. And I, I do love this attachment. Optic, we're gonna go with a standard hollow sight barrel for precision sight picture. This again is gonna negatively impact our ADS speed, but that's okay. It's gonna give us better sights. And I think it looks aesthetically very pleasing with the hollow on there. Stock, we're gonna remain the same. And again, the differences with this particular blueprint stock is that the cheek rest is adjusted up versus the base stock for the scar that is down. So this is up as well as the color change with the blueprint. Perk, we're gonna skip for the rear grip. Again, we need to make this as fast ADS as possible. So we're gonna do the stipple pistol grip is gonna assist with our aim down sight speed as well as our sprint to fire speed, which we desperately need with this weapon. I'm gonna leave the 20 round box ammo instead of the 20 or 25 or the 30 just because those are going to further impact our ADS speed and our mobility, which playing around with it in game online, it just makes it very hard to use and you're going to die a lot since you need the 20 inch barrel. You're already slow enough. So we need to make this really as fast as possible while retaining the blueprint aesthetics. So we'll go now to the under barrel. I'm going to go ahead with the operator foregrip. This is going to help our recoil control, the con being our ADS speed. So another thing you could do here is the commando foregrip. That's not going to negatively in negatively impact your ADS speed as well. So if we just compare this quickly to the operator foregrip, you can see your control is down a little bit, but your mobility will go up with the operator foregrip. It's not a huge change. I think you could go with either. You just really need to be careful about where you're taking those negative hits with the aim down sight speed. And this is our five attachments. So this is our Mark 17 or our SCAR H with our Midwest Industries M-Lock handguard. And you can see um, this is really designed to, you have that gap there where the front sight normally would be. I'm not sure um, it's in the wrong place. It's still on that top 
Picatinny rail there versus it'd be down in that gap there is where the front sight would be. And then we have another rail system. After that gap, the rail system is there for the tack laser that we have on there. And then it's an open free float barrel, so you're able to access your gas piston through here without removing the handguard. And that's our final design for our Mark 17 Midwest Industries. You can also make this into the Mark 20 SSR, which we covered in a conversion video. Um, so you could do that, retain this blueprint aesthetic as well if you wanted to do that. So I'll link that down below. You can build that out of this blueprint if you wanted. Really quick, let's compare it to the base scar. So what I did is I just put both these in classes side by side. So we have our we have our new blueprint for the trader with our M-Lock handguard. And then I built just a regular scar H with the same exact attachment. So you can see the difference A color, the barrel, the barrel length, and barrel length is the same, but you don't have the M-Lock handguard. The handguard's different. And the color overall is just different. The magazine color with a standard 20 round, you get that typical tan or brown for the whole weapon versus the the midwest industries blueprint here for the trader you get this darker variant of the scar with the cheek rest adjusted and you get that m-lock handguard you can see the picatinny rail system on this is is different as well i think this is a really sexy looking build it's very aesthetically pleasing and we kitted it out really to perform the best it can in game while retaining the blueprint aesthetics to it so let's go ahead now see how this works out in game for us we're going to check out the recoil on this and then see how it handles in game okay now that we're in game with our mark 17 midwest industries m-lock handguard variant with a blueprint trader for the scar let's go ahead and check out the recoil pattern so first off you can see the ads speed is about as fast as it's going to get with this particular blueprint and retaining the skin itself so let's go ahead and fire it and see what the recoil looks like. Not going to control this. So there you see it kind of goes up at a at an angle, pretty much straight angle. You're no no crazy horizontal deviation. So let's try it once more and we're going to control this. So right there I did a horrible job of controlling it. So let's try it again. So it's going to want to climb pretty heavily, so you need to be aware of that. And it bounces a little bit, but we're able to keep it pretty tight for the most part. So right there, we're able to keep it pretty tight. Again, when you're aiming at someone in-game, it's a lot easier to control. So you can see right there, pretty tight versus the standard is just going right up at that horizontal angle. And let's try it one more round. We'll see how we can do here. Going to get a little further back, because we do have the 20-inch barrel. We do have more range on this. So it does it does kick pretty hard about 10 shots in. So right there we're able to compensate for it pretty well. But that is the recoil pattern again. Heavy recoil. You can kit this out maybe a little different to try and uh, mitigate that best you can. But this is the Scar H Mark 17 with the Midwest Industries M Lock handguard. Let's go ahead now and get in game and see how it handles. Okay, now that we're in game with our Mark 17, the Trader Blueprint for the Midwest Industries M-Lock handguard of this weapon, let's go ahead and see how it handles in game. And again, I've used this online. Um, it's definitely a tough weapon to use. You need to kit it to have the fastest ADS speed as possible. Your mobility with this weapon is just not very good. So it's really important to kit it to make it as mobile and as best ADS speed as you can get. But being a SCAR, the damage is obviously going to be very high since it does fire that 762 by 51 NATO round. So the damage is going to be there. It's just a matter of your ADS speed. You're going to lose a lot of gunfights unless you put on a short barrel and maybe a collapsed stock. But again, you're not going to retain the blueprint with that. So... With that 20 inch barrel is the only way we're going to keep the aesthetics of the blueprint and the base buttstock as well. You get that M-Lock handguard with the cheek rest adjusted for the the um, buttstock. So 
Really cool blueprint. I think I like this one a lot. It's one of my favorite blueprints just because it gives us a really unique design to the scar. And there's a lot of these blueprints we saw that are now incorporated in M-Lock handguards. We saw it with the um, the M13. There's an M13 blueprint for the F FNG bundle that there was. There's the Ram 7. So that whole entire weapon with anything but the base barrel and the short barrel has an M-Lock handguard as well. So a lot of the blueprints are including M-Lock handguards. I hope we see something similar with that with a lot of weapons going forward. I know like an AK-47, the Spetsnaz Elite Barrel is very similar to an Unlock Handguard, but I hope we can get maybe like an Alpha AK, something like that going forward that gives us even more visual differences with the weapon. Whoa. There we go. So again, it is your SCAR. It's going to perform really the same. The 20 inch barrel is not the best option to do like a run and gun. You need to play very slow paced and cautious just because you're not going to win. You're not going to win gunfights face to face. If anybody gets to draw on you with anything but like a, maybe an Odin or something, you're going to lose. So even the Odin with the high damage is still probably going to beat you out. I've lost a lot of gunfights with this build online. It's very hard to use. So like I said, it's really important to kit it to make sure your mobility and your ADS speed is the best you can be. I would even say accuracy isn't as important with this weapon. Your ergonomics are really what you want with this. So I would say ergo over accuracy and recoil control every day of the week just because the SCAR handles so poorly with ergonomics. So that's my personal opinion. But overall, I love this blueprint. I think, like I said, the visual design is great. It's good to see like a refreshing, refreshing blueprints that really change up the way the weapon looks and allows you to feel like you have essentially a new weapon when you're looking at it because it's something you see every game so it's good to have that difference so let me know what you guys think below it's really a pretty significant change with the blueprint itself makes the weapon look a lot different than the base scar so that's what i love about this that's a kill. So let me know what you guys think. You can see also the way we have it kitted out, the ADS speed isn't too bad. And if you were to put maybe a like a commando foregrip instead of the operator foregrip on there, your ADS speed would just be increased that much more just because you're not taking that negative hit that we are with this underbarrel with the operator foregrip. So that's really, again, like the most important thing to do here is go for the ergonomics. Oh, boy. But the SCAR itself is very high damage. It's just a matter of the slow rate of fire and the ADS speed. So if you can compensate for that the best you can, you have a good weapon. And this, like I said, is probably the best way we can kit out the SCAR with keeping this particular trader blueprint. But if you can get in engagements like this where you're kind of pre-aiming and you're catching the enemy off guard, you're going to put yourself in a good spot. Don't try and run and gun with this blueprint whatsoever. But... Let me know what you guys think. Do you like this? Did you get this in the battle stream yet? Have you used it? What do you think of the scar overall? And I guess, do you like the way the blueprint itself looks? There we go. And what attachments have you used on the scar to kind of make it perform better? I'd like to hear what you guys think. If you're doing anything different than me, maybe I'm missing missing some way to make it even better that I could be missing out. So again, you can make this in the, the Mark 20 SSR, which we did in a video before. This blueprint itself would look pretty nice with that particular build. In real life, the... M lock handguard for this made by Midwest Industries. They have a specific one for the SSR variant, and that doesn't have that gap where the gas piston is. It just has a straight flat rail to allow for more attachments there. You don't really want that gap on the SSR, so that's what they made a different uh, M lock, particularly for that version of the weapon. So let me know what you guys think. This is actually one of my favorite blueprints, as I said. Also, be sure, if you're liking the content, to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It definitely helps out smaller channels like myself. And again, we're growing very fast. I say this like almost every video, but I'm just amazed how fast we've, we've grown. I think from when the game came out, we were at like under 150 subscribers. And now today, as of this video, we're at about 81, close, closing down to 8,200 subscribers. So... Really great to see. Love interacting with you guys, and I love the feedback that we get in the comments and the conversations we're able to have on the videos. So be sure to like and subscribe if you're not already, and if you like the content. And let me know what you think of this particular video down below. Also, if there's other weapon conversions or blueprints that you want me to cover, 
be sure to let me know down below also. And you can see here the pistol I'm using is that pistol that we got in the Nikdo bundle. So check out the video on my channel where I cover that whole bundle and, and those pistols as well. That pistol has the the blue tracers you can see there coming out of the pistol. It's a 1911 blueprint. So I cover that in that Nikdo bundle video that is on the channel. So check that out if you're interested. And that's like one of the... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. That's one of those rare occasions where we're going to win gunfights if we catch some if you ads first maybe and catch somebody off guard but other than that if if you run into somebody like that and they have an smg or something in ads first you're in deep trouble there we go i do love the damage of the scar i think it's well, three shot kill pretty much at any range some if it's longer range it might be it's usually four i believe Oh boy. <laughs> but this blueprint very aesthetically pleasing. So let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what, what other blueprints you want me to cover, any weapon conversions that you want to see going forward. As a lot of the more of these blueprints come out, we'll be able to make more conversions. And I'm probably going to do a video soon about different blueprints and weapons that I want to see in game. I think there's a big opportunity with Infinity War to make just a lot of, similar to what they did in Modern Warfare Remastered, make a lot of different weapon skins that overhaul the weapon, the weapon cosmetic completely, similar to what they're doing here. And I think that'd be something really cool to see on like different AK builds and things like that. And they're doing a good job of that, as I said, with a lot of the Sig Rattler video we did. And some other ones they're starting to go that way too which we've seen also with the the steel curtain ak and everything like that so definitely my favorite part of the game but let me know what you guys think of this Whoop. and i think we'll be doing a, another giveaway when we get to 10,000 subscribers and or uh, when season two comes out that way you guys can win some stuff for that too that'd be a big milestone so I'm Buffner Gaming. This is the Mark 17 with the MI Midwest Industries MLOC Handguard. And until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.